everyone. My name is Hubert. My name is Milan. My name is Emily. And my name is Celeste. Today we're going to tell you all about a very important thing that is all around us. Teamwork. So, what is teamwork? Well, we can't really define it that easily. See, we like to think that teamwork can be divided into three main elements, known as the three C's. The first C is communication. By communicating with each other, we can better understand each other and build trust. We use it to express feelings, pass on information, and share thoughts. Teamwork depends heavily on communication, as it requires you to stand out and express yourself. And the only way to do that is by communicating. Your teammates will never know you had a good idea if you didn't tell them. What if that idea would have made you and your teammates successful? Just imagine how you would feel. It wouldn't feel very good, that's for sure. However, teamwork involves more than just communication. The second C is coordination otherwise known as team coordination. Now, coordination helps you complete projects step by step, make sure you aren't rushing things, and helps you split tasks according to everyone's different strengths. Taking risks is much easier when people coordinate well and are there to catch each other when they fall. Last, but most certainly not least, is the third C, cooperation. Cooperation is the act of two or more people or groups working together to achieve a common goal. Working together makes achieving a common goal much faster and more enjoyable. For example, at school, people need to work together to finish group projects. Everyone has their own role to play, and by working together, the project can be completed in the fraction of the time it would take to do it alone. Cooperation also allows for everyone to share their own skill sets and talents, so everyone can learn from each other and be inspired. And the more minds we have, the faster we can come up with solutions to our problem. So, as you can see, the three C's, communication, coordination, and cooperation, are the building blocks a team needs to work together and succeed. Now let's dive in a little deeper. Why is teamwork so important in the first place? We believe that teamwork is not just work. It's something that we can't live without. See, if you don't like working with other people, finding a good job can be tough. Most jobs require teamwork, whatever a teacher, athlete, or doctor. Without a job, you cannot earn any money, leaving you unable to afford food, water, or home. So as you can see, teamwork is for achieving any kind of success, both in school, workplace, and in life. Another example of teamwork is football, where you have to work together to get the ball in the goal. You have to pass the ball to one another and communicate in order to win the game. Even though there's one player that's very strong at football, they can't win the game themselves. What about the goalies? What about the strikers? The defender? See, a team is only as strong as its weakest player, so we should all work together in order to win the game. Or, at our school, there are two teachers per class, one who speaks English and another who speaks Chinese. This is important because it will be impossible to teach a such a big class with only one teacher. Plus, teachers who speak both languages are able to explain concepts to students more clearly, as well as improve communication between students who speak different languages. We also need teachers for other subjects, like music, art, and PE, because everyone is good at different things allowing students to explore their own talents and become well-rounded human beings. Now that we've covered why teamwork is so important, we must ask ourselves the important question. How can we really encourage teamwork? Well, in school, we can start by grouping people who don't normally work together. That way, we can get to know each other better and who knows, maybe even become friends. We also need to give everyone a chance to speak and really listen to their ideas. That way, people will feel like their opinions are more valid and hey, their ideas might just be useful. This creates a space of trust where people feel free to share opinions without fear of being judged. One last thing, do you know why we choose the topic of teamwork? Because we're a team. We chose our topic together, we split our work according to our different strengths, and we provided each other with feedbacks and ideas. As you can see, teamwork is all around us. So we encourage you to take out what you learned from this presentation and go out and be a team player. You got this!